turning the valve. So, you're probably wondering how this thing actually works. Basically, you have a PVC tank here, which is storing high pressure air. You can fill that tank up with this Schrader valve here, which is the same sort of valve you have on any car tire, bike tire. All you gotta do is pump it up with a compressor, or even a bike pump is fine. You get it to about 80 PSI, and then you have a ball valve here. When you open this ball valve, the high pressure air rushes through, through the ball valve, and through the barrel. The shirt goes inside the barrel, and the shirt has nowhere to go but rushes straight out with it. And you'd be very surprised how powerful this is. So guys, these are the basic materials you're gonna need. A water bottle as a barrel, a piece of PVC, a can of spray paint, some PVC joints and fittings. All this is gonna be noted on my Instagram in some photos, the exact sizes. You're also gonna need an old tire valve and a couple of pieces of wood as a handle. Now, what you need to do is screenshot this handle drawing or head over to my Instagram and print it off and then trace it onto your piece of wood and um, you're gonna cut that out and use it as a handle. Alternatively, you can actually use an old spear gun handle or something like a Nerf gun handle. That will work just fine as well and that's what I'll be doing. The next step is to simply cut out your Schrader valve out of your bike, car tire, whatever you're using. Just cut that out with a pair of scissors. And you wanna get a drill bit around about the same size as the shaft of your Schrader valve. And you're simply gonna drill a hole in your PVC end cap, about that same size. Now, just before you glue it, make sure it fits nice and snug. And once uh, you've tested it, put some silicon or some good quality glue on the inside of your uh, end cap and simply push your Schrader valve through, out the other side, and that's gonna leave a nice airtight seal. The next step is to simply get a heat gun and heat up your reducer. You can do this over a stove top as well, but a heat gun makes it a lot easier. You wanna manipulate the reducer around your ball valve, as it's not gonna be the exact right size we need. That's why we heat it up, just to make it work. Now all these parts, all the reducers, the PVC size, it's all gonna be listed on my Instagram. So at Mark J underscore official. Look it up on Instagram. Just find the post with the Maverick merch cannon and scroll through all the photos. I have photos of everything listed, all the sizes, and then you can go to Bunnings, get exactly what you need. Um, or whatever hardware store you go to. Now, after it's all cooled down and hardened, you're simply gonna need some high pressure glues. I have a PVC primer and a high pressure cement. The best way to do this is to prime each side of your joint, let it dry for about 30 seconds, and then paint the glue over the top of the primer. When you're pushing your joints together, you want to give it about half a turn all the way around as you're pushing it in. That will give you the strongest, most uh, airtight joint that you can get with this PVC. You're gonna need around 24 hours for all this to dry before you put any pressure in it. So don't go putting any pressure in early, otherwise it will just blow up. Next step, simply take another piece of PVC and do a little cutout in it, as you can see I'm doing here. Now you can use a hacksaw or a multi-tool for this. They both work fine. And uh, give it a file. And next you're gonna need to drill two holes in the top, two holes in the bottom, so that you can fit your Phillips head bit through the top and then screw your handle onto the bottom. After you've done that, it is ready to simply clip on to your little contraption that you have made. And that's gonna give it a bit more of a, a gun sort of shape and a handle that you can hold and make it easy. Next, you wanna simply give it a little sand. You just need to roughen it up to help the paint stick. After you've done that, block up all sections that you don't want paint to get into and tape up your handle. Now I'm just using some cheap spray paint from Bunnings. Um, most paint sticks to PVC, but you do want to check that it is um, that it can before you buy it. And um, give it a couple of light coats. You really don't want to go too heavy too fast. 
is do some light coats. After you've painted it, the next step will be to take your bottle that we're going to use as a barrel and cut the end off. After you've done that, we need to tape up the lid side of the bottle so that there's a nice airtight fit to your ball valve. Next, get a drill bit, drill a hole, and a screw slightly bigger than the drill bit and screw the barrel on. Okay, so simply give it a little bit of a clean up afterwards and um, you're ready to test it out now. Hook up your compressor, your bike pump to the straighter valve at the back, just like you would with a bike tire. Pump it up and uh, it should be ready to shoot. You only need a few pumps for this and you can test the pressure by putting a PSI gauge on there. However, a lot of compressors and bike pumps already come with a PSI gauge on them, so you don't even need to worry about that. You want to get it to about 80 PSI and make sure you leave it for 24 hours before actually um, pumping it up. Now I'm just going to add some final touches to the uh, t-shirt launcher. I've got the Maverick sticker on there and it is looking pretty nice. A lot of work went into this so uh, you know Logan Paul if you want to send out some uh, free merch so that I can shoot it out of the gun I would uh, would not be opposed to that at all. So <laughs> I hope you're watching that vi this video anyway. Um, had a lot of fun making this and uh, I'll show you a couple of awesome shots so let's check it out. Guys, never underestimate the accuracy of this thing. Coke can. Short range good, long range, let's test it. Alrighties guys, we've made a slight modification to the t-shirt gun. It's actually got a full on sniper scope on it now. Okay, you see up there, we've got a can set up, about uh, 400 kilometers that direction. Let's see if we can hit it. Bang on. I'm gonna hang out the washing, do it the easy way. All you gotta do, get some pegs, put them in here, pack your shirt in, how easy was that? So, Got a bottle of coke here we're going to shoot out of it and um, it's, I've actually filled it up with some water so it's got a bit of weight behind it. This will be interesting to see what happens. It's actually quite a tight fit to the barrel so I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Fifteen metres to that fence and uh, I've got a white t-shirt and see if uh, I heard red travels further, but I don't know. We'll test it with white just to make sure that it's definitely the distance it'll go. You ready? It's pretty powerful. For what it is, it's pretty powerful. I wouldn't go putting any cricket balls in this thing and shooting it because that would be very naughty. It can, it is actually rated to take like 300 PSI, but I'd never recommend putting that much in because that is a lot of pressure and we don't need that much. I'm putting in about 80 to 100 PSI. Ideally what you want to do is turn that valve as fast as possible. The faster you turn it, the more air can come out at once and the more propulsion you're going to get on the t-shirt. Schrader valve here puts the air pressure inside the high pressure tank where you have a ball valve which you turn to release the pressure. Very easy, very simple, very effective, very easy to make. Maverick Mert Cannon, so um, Logan Paul, if you're watching this video, I mean, I don't have any Maverick merch, so... I made a lot, I put a lot of effort into making this, man. You can, uh, you can send me out some merch, you know, replace this shit with some, uh, good stuff, you know, I'll, you know, Turn it down if you send it out, just hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Anyways, guys, so what you want to do with your t-shirt is just wrap it up, blah, blah, blah. Insert it into the barrel, like this. Now, the more compact and sort of wrapped up you do it, the better it actually shoots, I've found. You can really compact it in there, push it in. As you can see, it's stuck in there nicely. And then it's just a matter of turning the valve and... Guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end. Really appreciate it. 
if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on the video, that really helps me out. It sort of uh, bumps it up in the algorithm, so if you could do that, that would be so appreciated. Uh, if this video gets 5,000 likes, I will pump the gun up to 300 psi and put a cricket ball in the end, so there's a bit of an incentive for you. Um, as, as I said, this will all be on my Instagram. If you have any questions, comment below or DM me on Instagram. I reply to all my um, DMs, so MarkJ underscore official. See you later.